The following is an MTV crib special presentation. Hi MTV, welcome to my crib. Hi, welcome. My name is Grace, also known as Jima, and today I'm going to be talking about my room tour. So right now it is a Victorian Gothic era kind of theme going on. I like to go on themes with my room and the green definitely I got over it really really quick and yeah I'm just in the process of decluttering. This whole process basically took around two three months but it was all worth it obviously at the end so let's get started. So I just um, had everything put up in my room. It is such a mess. Oh my gosh, hi Uni. Um, yeah, I was very grateful for my brother-in-law and my sister. Um, I also have a really bad knee right now because I was working out, but also I heard it doing yoga, but here's to the cleaning process, oof. So throughout the course of this video, I'm going to be going through a list or a couple reasons as to why my room slash what I think an environment should be like in, in an ideal space. I have the luxury of being at home and so I get to customize it however way I want. But yeah, let's go back into the room tour. Hi, so I'm in the process of cleaning my room. I feel so gross right now. I'm sticky, I need a shower, and yes, this is what my room looks like right now. Took that from school. Um, yeah, I'm also very much deep cleaning my closet. This is what it kind of looks like right now. I'm gonna put in my old dress, or not my old dresser, it was my sister's old dresser. She's currently using it for my current niece. But yeah, I also did my nails um, with my best friend, Christine. I'm also gonna get rid of like this desk um, and this antique hutch cabinet. I really like it. I'm still debating on whether I wanna keep it, but I'm also gonna have a garage sale. So um, I really want to, yeah, like make a little bit of stuff on the side. I also, have these old um like pictures from magazines or like old calendars or something and it, it's taking up a lot of space in my closet but i think i'm going to cut them up and use the sketchbooks that i almost never use so yeah it's really really dirty but i'm hoping <laughs> i'm hoping it's gonna be clean so i also got a disco ball so that kind of lights up my room. I'm hoping to hang it, but again, my curtains, I'm gonna repaint it, so stay tuned. So number one being privacy, this space is my sanctuary and it's my place where I can have downtime and just be fat and know nothing to anyone. I love being comfortable and being able to relax and it's truly my safe haven. I feel like I am in my most vulnerable and this is where I find the most growth. I also mentioned my car is definitely my second, my very close second because I just love my car. Anyways, um, yeah, this is just me taking everything out and decluttering and yeah, just going through the Marie Kondo method of like whether these things give me joy or not. And so trying to, yeah, condense everything. And so, yeah, let's go back. Hello, so this is what my room currently looks like. Ring, 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 ring. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, and that's me. And, um, yeah, it's really nice lighting right now. It's a good day, sunny. I put everything ready to 
paint. I'm gonna prime it because this green is just so potent, you know? Um, gutting everything off the walls. Um, I'm gonna prime the edges first. And then, yeah, I was using this vacuum that my dad just got on Black Friday. Yeah, so it's gonna be a long process, but I'm excited to see where the hard work will go. So stay tuned. It is 12.27 uh, Thursday, I believe it's some day in the December 29th, um, but yeah, I just painted the edges. Um, I didn't paint this edge nor the window pane, but I kind of underestimated how hard I was be. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I see the vision. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a huge mess. But you know, I'm also I am also using bear. But yeah, definitely have to do probably three coats. But it's my fault. So yeah. Number two, uh, I really value my personal space. I always want my room to reflect me as a person with my interests and style. I'm all about personal expression and I wanted to incorporate my personality of who I am and what I value. And so I had that mindset going into this room transformation and this new stage in my life of graduating college. And so that's going back. So this is what it looks like day two of painting um it's kind of uneven and i'm hoping with multiple coats it looks better um yeah this is what my room looks like i don't know i'm feeling a little better now that it's all covered um yeah so we'll see yeah stay tuned and that is all Number three is inspiration. I always want to be creative and productive and motivate imagination. I want to foster ideas and a safe space. Number four is organization. I'm all about storing and organizing everything. I like being tidy and clean as much as I can. And if it's really messy, that's when you know I'm really stressed out. But yeah, that's essentially all I have left for this video. This is what is the what the result ended up looking like and this is what it looks like at night just because i think it has a more cozy atmosphere i'm currently dog sitting a dog right now his name's momo he's really cute but yeah this process took a lot longer than it needed to but i feel like it was all really worth it i can confidently say that this was a one woman one woman job and yeah i bent my back backwards for this project and I think it was worth it and I now look forward to coming into my room all the time and so yeah thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this process and just listening really quick and yeah let me know in the comments like this video and subscribe if you want to follow more about my life all right thanks for listening bye